Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about how to increase internet speed on Windows 10. So let's get started. There are a lot of times when we have a very good internet connection, but still it does not perform well. Most of the time it is not because of your internet service or the internet vendor. It is your Windows 10 which limits the internet speed for various reasons and luckily we can change those settings to improve the internet performance. So in this video we will see about 10 tricks. Trick number 1. Change bandwidth limit for Windows updates. Windows 10 uses the certain amount of internet bandwidth for downloading and update the windows and its apps. Well, we can add a limit to it. To do that, we will look for delivery optimization. In search area or in search bar of your windows, write delivery and it will show you delivery optimization settings icon here. Click on it and from here click on advanced option. So here you can see that I have already set it to 10%. So in your case you can adjust these numbers or these percentage as per your liking. So these are related to download settings and these are related to upload setting. So you can adjust these percentages as per your liking and as per the speed of your internet connectivity. Trick number two, change settings in DNS server. Well, your DNS server is given to you by your internet provider, but there are many DNS server which are open and work really fast. They are called as open DNS server. DNS stands for domain name systems. Well, it is used to translate the domain names into IP addresses and vice versa. For example, if you have a google.com, you do not know its IP address. So what we do, we just write google.com and DNS changes that google.com into its IP address and talks to the server. So well, let's see how we can change that. For that purpose, we have to go to control panel. From here, look for network and sharing. Click on it. From here, click on change adapter setting and choose the internet you are using right now. Right click on it, click on its properties, then look for IPv4 version. Here it is internet protocol version 4. Click on it and click on its properties. So here you have option which says obtain DNS server address automatically. Click on it which says use the following DNS server addresses. Well, there is a thing that there are a lot of DNS servers which are open and free to use. So you can search for anyone and you can use the address of that server for your system. For example, if you can see here, there are a lot of IP addresses of different DNS servers. These are all free. So here you can search the DNS servers as per your countries. For example, if I go and look for Canada, so these are the IP addresses of DNS server which are present in Canada and these are all free. So let's say I copy this address and then I'm going to paste it here. So here it says alternate DNS server mean if in case it does not work what will be your alternate DNS server. So you can choose any one here copy it and you can just paste it. After that click on OK and you will be able to use your alternate DNS server. Well in case if you want to go back to default settings again click here click on properties from here check this box now it will get back to its default properties trick number three turn off peer-to-peer -peer update look for delivery optimization and for that purpose i will search in my search area and i will write delivery optimization settings and here you can see that it is showing me the option click on it and here this is on turn it off now what it will do, it will not allow other peers or other system which are on the same network as you are to download any files from your system or exchange anything with you. Like it does happen in torrent files. So now no more internet usage in the background without your permission. Trick number four. There are a lot of times when our internet starts to underperform and that is because of the updates which gets downloaded and installed in our system in the background. So we can 
turn that off as well so for that purpose look for services in your system just type services and here it is just click on it now scroll down and look for windows updates and here it is double click on it and here you have an option which says startup type you can set it to automatic manual or disabled i'm going to set it to manual after that you might see an option or button which says start or stop click on the stop button in my case i have already set it so in your case it will show you start and stop option so you should go for stop option after that click on apply and then click on ok so no more windows update in the background trick number five adjust windows internet usage by default windows 10 keeps 20 percent of your bandwidth for the operating system and other tasks mean you are left with 80 percent of the internet bandwidth we can change that if we are using the pro version of windows to do that right click on windows icon and click on run or you can press windows plus r key after that write gpedit.msc hit enter now go to computer configuration administrative templates networks and from here look for qos package scheduler double click on it and here it says limit reservable bandwidth double click on it and here you can see that it is already zero i have already set it to zero means my window is not allowed to use any bandwidth from my internet connection so in your case you might see that it will be 20 percent or in some of your cases it might be 80 percent set it to zero after that click on apply and click on ok trick number six increase speed using net sh command in windows 10 for that purpose you have to open your cmd as an administrator right click on it and just click on run as administrator we will write some commands here follow the commands and follow the video so our first command is netsh int tcp show global after that hit enter our next command is NETSH INT TCP set global DCA equal to enable. You can follow this command and write in your CMD and hit enter. It says OK. Next command is NETSH INT TCP set global auto tuning level equal to normal and hit enter. Now, in next command, we are going to enable it and for that purpose, write this command and hit enter. It says OK. For next command, write this and hit enter. Now, it is showing me the heuristic. Now, we are going to enter our last command. Write this command and hit enter. Now, we are OK. Now, we are going to exit our command prompt. For that purpose, just write exit and hit enter. Trick number seven, flushing our DNS. This trick will help you to clean all the old browsing cache from older sites and the data which were slowing down your system. For that purpose, we have to open our command prompt as an administrator. We will write command which says IP config space backslash flush DNS. Hit enter. Now it says successfully flush the DNS resolve cache. After that, write ipconfig space slash register DNS. Hit enter. Now it is configuring my IP. Okay, for the next command, I'm going to write ipconfig space slash release. Hit enter. Now it is releasing. Now for the next command, we are going to write ipconfig space slash renew hit enter for next command write net sh winsock reset hit enter now it says you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset so i'll do it at the end of this video trick number eight empty the temp folder there might be a case when temp folder starts to get filled with unnecessary files and might result into slowing down the internet speed and its performance. To delete that folder, right click on Windows icon and from there click on run and here write percentage temp percentage and hit enter. Now a folder will open something like this. From here, select all the files which are here and right click on any files and from there click on delete. Trick number nine, clear cache. 
there might be a case when we have a broken cache or we can have a cache which is full. It might result in websites not loading or taking long time to open. So in that type of scenario, it is not the fault of your internet. It is because of the cache in your browser. And to clear the cache, go to your browser. From there, click on these three dots and then go to more tools and from here clear browsing data now it is showing me the option which i can delete from my system like it says browsing history download history cookies and other site data cached images and file and so on so make sure you know what you are deleting here in my case i am not going to delete my passwords and other sign in data and for the rest of the things i am going to delete them for that purpose just click on clear data and it will start deleting all the unnecessary or all the cache data from your browser and it will improve your internet speed so if you are using firefox for that purpose go to your firefox browser and from there click on this settings button and from there click on privacy and security from there scroll down and here it says cookies and sites data click on clear data and after that click on clear now it is asking for the assurance yes click on clear now and now it has deleted all the cookies and your cache data from your browser now your internet connection will perform better than earlier trick number 10 turn off background apps for that purpose look for privacy settings for that purpose go to your search area of your windows and write here privacy settings and here it says privacy settings click on it and from there scroll down and click on background apps now these are the apps which are running in the background of your system and some of them might be using the internet without your knowledge and without your consent for that purpose what you can do you can stop all those applications which you do not want to run in the background so for example i have turned off my skype in the background because i just want to use it when i need it and same goes for other apps so you can turn off all those apps which you do not want to run in the background for example i'm going to turn off my itunes here so you can do that with other apps as well so that's it for this video I hope after implementing these tricks, your internet performance will get better. And do not forget to restart your system because in some of the tricks, it might need a restart. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast.